Today inside the Spectrum Center, Governor Cooper signed a mobile sports bill into law. Local sports leaders and lawmakers say this has been a long time coming and it will take North Carolina to the next level in sports and economy. Whether you're watching the Hornets play ball or Charlotte FC score goals, betting will now be a part of the game in North Carolina. Not only is sports good for entertainment and culture, but it also helps to grow our economy significantly. Now it's up to the NC Lottery Commission to get the legislation up and running. The state will be taking applications from online sports books, then they'll award 12 licenses and tax those companies at 18%. I think it's important that they get it done right. Uh, this is a new venture for the state of North Carolina. The bill also allows in-person betting at eight venues across the state, including the Spectrum Center. Jeff Whitfield, president of the Hornets, says they're still sorting out the details, but welcomes the possibility of a sports book here. We want to do everything we can to improve the product on the court, to improve the fan experience, allow our fans to be able to do the same things that fans can do in other markets. And this is just another step in that direction. Predictions indicate the state could generate about $100 million in taxes from sports betting by its fifth year. Being creative and finding ways to tap into what people are already doing and generate revenues needed for important topics, infrastructure, education, uh, you know, that, that's the cre kind of creativity we need in the state. Governor Cooper says not only will the money go towards gambling addiction education and athletic departments at state universities, it will continue to put Charlotte on the map for all things sports. This is a place that is an economic engine for North Carolina and a place where professional sports already are growing and has the potential to grow even more. And today, Governor Cooper put an emphasis on the revenue going towards education, specifically to tackle the teacher shortage, saying the legislature needs to do more to raise teacher salaries. Now, the North Carolina Lottery Commission has up to a year to get everything ready, but sports betting could start as soon as January 8th. Reporting at the Spectrum Center for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.